Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love what you see here, reach out to me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Today, we are discussing the Patek Philippe Perpetual Calendar 5327R. This is the R-001. This watch is a perpetual calendar that was launched at Basel World 2016. It is 39 millimeters in diameter, 9.8 millimeters thick, from lug tip to lug tip, a reasonable 46.5 millimeters, and then has a 19 millimeter spacing between the lugs. So on the wrist, the watch has full size and figure for a Patek Philippe dress watch. You can see it's narrow across the wrist, so it'll fit a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. But being quite thin and quite broad, it has an impressive presence, a real nice stance to it, and that in spite of the relatively narrow 19 millimeter lug spacing. Now taking a quick look at the strap, you can see it's dark brown, large rectangular scale alligator leather, and it is gloss finished. It's bolstered a little bit with some stuffing to add volume. It uses a folded edge, a monotone stitch, and you can see on the bottom, this is a brand new Patek Philippe factory strap with pull tab spring bars to remove the strap without tools. And then we have a single fold deployment clasp and matching rose gold with the Calatrava cross on the buckle. So you can see that Tech Philippe factory buckle right there. And then the case. The case is nuanced. It has lovely scalloped flanks, and I, I suspect that this is achieved by machining and then hand finishing the case because that is an exceptional inflection. Uh, that much concave is difficult to achieve by case stamping. You can also see that there's a lovely arcing taper to these lugs. Really handsome. There's a lot of complexity to this case, almost like you could see flames dancing across its surface. We have a couple of pusher adjusters for the crown, or I should say the calendar functions. And then we have a Calatrava cross on the crown. You can see that the crown is slightly sunken into the case band, so it doesn't stick out too, too much. Little details matter here. You'll also notice that the bezel has a slight concave profile to it. Again, to visually pare down the mass and increase elegance. We have a lovely ivory lacquer dial. It has a handsome and complementary color that perfectly matches the rose gold of the case and the rose gold of the Breguet style Arabic numerals and hands. Breguet style Arabic numerals are always a special feature on Patek Philippe watches. They let you know that the watch is something to be reckoned with. We have lovely little dimple style minutes outboard and actually inverse dimples. They're raised and polished. We have sub-registers that are actually coaxial registers, so you have your 24-hour scale and your day over at 9. You have your leap year phase and your month over at 3. You have a pointer date and a moon phase down at 6. Now, the 24-hour dial lets you know whether you're looking at you know, 9 a.m. or 9 p.m., and you can see between 6 and 12, we're looking at 9 a.m. right there. That's because during the nighttime hours, you should not use these pusher adjusters to adjust the calendar. That's your little warning right there. The perpetual calendar can deal with irregular length months and leap years, and it does not need to be adjusted until the year 2100. The moon phase, once set, has an accuracy interval of 122 years. Now, flipping the watch over, you can see that we have caliber 240Q. It is the perpetual calendar version of the long-running 240 micro rotor that first came out in 1977. So it's thin like a manual, and it is thin at under 10 millimeters thick. It also has the open display back vista unencumbered by central rotors or winding bridges, but it gives you the convenience of automatic winding, which is important on a complex calendar. So it winds a 48 hour power reserve. It beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. All of this pivots on 27 joules. It is adjusted in six positions, which leaves inaccuracy no place to hide. And there's a feature set here the Patek Philippe seal, six position adjustment, the gyro max balance, and the silicon hairspring. That means Patek will attest that this watch runs no worse than minus three plus two seconds per 24 hours when it leaves the factory. And of course, in addition to the accuracy guarantee, the watch has anti-magnetic qualities courtesy of that Spiromax silicon hairspring. If you can look carefully, you can see that all of the bridges are mirror beveled, which is quite attractive. And although these bevels are started mechanically, they're finished by hand at Patek Philippe. We have two different sizes of engine turning on the base plate. We have Cote de Genève perfectly aligned across the bridges, but then also on the rotor. 
which has an engraved Calatrava cross. We have black polished screw heads and black polished locating pegs that are used to help locate some of the bridges on the base plate. The screw heads also featured chamfered slots and chamfered circumference. And then we have set nation on the ratchet wheel as well as the wheels of the going train. It is all very attractive with ceramic rotor bearings used to increase durability and efficiency. And all of this is water resistant down to 30 meters. But I recommend you not test the theory. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.